Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I know what you're thinking when you saw this video. Howard, wow, that's quite the gun show right there. I can't believe you have those huge arms. And uh, all I got to say is enjoy the gun show. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're having a great day. And I did get my flu shot yesterday. I feel fine today. I know that some people have gotten it and they felt a little bad the next day. And other people have used that as an excuse. Oh, I can't get the flu shot because I felt bad one time I took it. Oh, mm. well, the reality is we get the flu shot because it not only protects us, but it protects our community. And if anybody can give me a good reason to not get the flu shot because it's going to help prevent killing an infant, a child, or people over the age of 65, I would love to hear it. We behave in a way that if everybody did what we do, we would be better off. And that's the reason why I got the flu, sh flu shot. I know I'm going to be okay. The flu doesn't kill people my age and at my health. You know, but it does kill a lot of other people in our community. And by having the flu shot, I'm going to be protected or I've done what I can do, along with washing my hands and being smart about everything. It's the exact same reason that we got the COVID vaccine. And speaking of which, we had a question this week about the COVID vaccine, whether it's effective. The COVID vaccine was designed to keep people out of the hospital and to keep people dying from COVID. It wasn't designed to keep people from catching COVID. So we have some immunity and we can get better you know, immunity by doing smart things. Uh, but the specific vaccine that you're getting has been designed to keep you out of the hospital. Right now, there is the people that are in cone are 11 times more likely to die if they haven't been vaccinated. And 94% of the people that are in cone have not been vaccinated. It is astonishing that people are still hesitant to get vaccinated. I'm so happy and proud that the vast majority, I think less than four of you, haven't been vaccinated. I love and I'm proud of all of you for being smart, being reasonable, and doing the right thing. Quick reminder, please engage with the clients. A lot of the times we are their only social interaction every week. It is why we're there to be involved in their lives and to you know, speak with them, let them know that we care about them, get them communicating, get them talking with us so that they can have that social lubricant to keep them sharp and keep them happy and living their best life possible. While you are engaging, please be aware of what you share. We had a few complaints this week that caregivers have been over uh, oversharing, letting them know their personal lives, letting them know stuff that was going on in the office. I know that you might be waiting to fill some space or just talking about things, but do not share or overshare stuff that's going in in your life. Be professional. Talk to them about what they were like when they were young, stuff they were interested in, play music from that time period. If you need any ideas, reach out to me, reach out to anybody in the office, and we'll give you a, a quick list of 10 things that you can do to help them make their life the best possible. I love you guys. Please continue to clock in and clock out on time now. If there's any changes in the time schedule, please make that a point of putting it in your narrative. And I hope you have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Take care.